Welcome back to the Two Minute Warning. Today, I'm looking at the Los Angeles Chargers and explaining why I think this roster could be a top five roster in the NFL for the 2021 season. But before getting to that topic, question for those of you viewing, I want to hear from you guys. Comment down below your prediction for what the Chargers record will be for the upcoming season. But of course, remember to consider that the schedule is looking to be 17 games. So keep that in mind. But getting into this topic, Chargers fans, I'm going to be very honest with you straight up right away. Top five is a tough benchmark to reach. And there's already four teams that I think is a solidified top four roster in the NFL. And the Chargers, they want to make this list. They're fighting for the number five spot. Just between these four teams, not ranking them one through four, but just between the Bucks, the Chiefs, the Rams, and Browns. Those are easily top four rosters in the NFL. And to me, there's no debate. They easily make the cut. Just from head to toe, top to bottom, from quarterback to safety, they are stacked in almost all areas in every aspect of an NFL team when it comes to coaching staff, quarterback, running back, like I said, everything on a roster. I think those four teams are undebatable and they make the top four. And then that leaves, of course, the top five position, number five in the top five to be available. And that's what the Chargers would be fighting for. Of course, when the season comes into play and we actually see teams click and this chemistry is there and guys play on the field, things can change right now on paper. Bucks, Chiefs, Browns and Rams are all top four rosters in the NFL easily, in my opinion. Looking at the Chargers, before I mention the other guys are competing with for the number five spot, they have arguably already a top 10 quarterback in Justin Herbert, and he was just a rookie, and I think he's going to get even better with Brandon Staley, a brand new head coach. Offensive line, like I said, top 10 quarterback, NFL rookie, and he had one of the worst offensive line in the NFL. Now he's going to get a rebuilt offensive line. He's going to have some experience and some reps under his belt and a brand new head coach that won't be run centric. Looking at the offensive line, it was terrible last year due to injuries and just guys not living up to the hype. Now they have a rebuilt offensive line with hopefully a healthy Brian Bulaga, a steal of a draft pick at left tackle in Rashawn Slater in the first round. You added Corey Lindsley, the number one center in the NFL. You added Odea Bushi and Matt Filer. This is a completely rebuilt Chargers team at the offensive line position. And first game, first two, three, four, five weeks, this offensive line might not click together. Like I said, it's completely rebuilt. These guys are going to need a little bit of chemistry and need a couple reps, need a couple games to get the game under their belt to understand how to play together. And that's fine. There's going to be growing pains. But that doesn't mean in time this team won't have a top five, top 10 offensive line in the league. I know that's bold, but when you sign the second best left tackle, you're getting back a Pro Bowl right tackle in his prime in Brian Bulaga. You're getting back or you're getting the number one center in the NFL it's not unlikely or it's not super unlikely to possibly turn into a top five offensive line. It's not impossible by any means. Looking at the receiving core, I honestly think Keenan Allen, he's a top 10 receiver. But to be honest, I think he's underrated. Mike Williams, if he's healthy, he's underrated. These are both 6'2", 6'4", guys that are go up and get it, guys. You have Jared Cook at the tight end position. You sign Josh Palmer, a pretty good number three receiver who could develop into a number two or number one receiver. He didn't have a bad or he didn't have a good quarterback in college. Now that he has, you know, Dime Lord in Justin Herbert, his game is going to go up a lot. And I like this receiving court. And of course, Austin Eckler out of the backfield. Not the biggest fan of the Chargers running the football because Austin Eckler can't pound the rock like that. I mean, maybe Joshua Kelly or Justin Jackson will step in. But when it comes to receiving back, Austin Eckler is a top five receiving back in the NFL. Looking at the defense, pass rush is finally getting there. In my opinion, it will get there from Brandon Staley and what he could provide to these guys that are still developing and trying to get a little bit better. You have Joey Bosa. He's your bread and butter of this defense on that defensive line. He's going to get double team. This Chargers team, they need an extra guy to get in there and win one of them matchups, whether it be, you know, uh, Jerry Tillery, whether it be Justin Jones, whether it be the new rookie Chris Rumpf, this Chargers defensive line I do think will finally get there. We could even see Kenneth Murray get in there and create some pass rush. And then the secondary, when healthy, you have the number one safety in the NFL in Derwin James, arguably. You have a pretty good corner, a pretty good number two corner in Michael Davis, Chris Harris Jr. Used to be an all-pro corner. He's getting up there in age, but I think if there's any coach that's going to you know, get every little bit of juice out of a corner left that's getting up there in age, it would be Brandon Staley and then Asante Samuel Jr., a guy that is somewhat limited physically. I think, again, if there's any coach that's going to get the absolute most out of a player on defense, it's going to be Brandon Staley. Just looking at this, you have a top five defensive end in the NFL in Joey Bosa. You have a top three safety in the NFL in Derwin James. You have a top 10 quarterback in Justin Herbert, possibly a top five, top 10 offensive line, top 10 receiving core, possibly. 
a lot of these things I know might not add up to top five, but I just think this team is going to progress so much, and Brandon Staley is going to be such a big booster for this team that I think they could fight for top five. And like I said, top five roster, it's a hard benchmark to reach when you have the first four positions locked to me in Bucks, Chiefs, Browns, and Rams. Again, no order, but at number five, the Chargers could make a run. There's other teams out there. Buffalo Bills are going to be tough with Josh Allen, Stephon Diggs, Cole Beasley. They do lack a run game, so maybe the Chargers can edge them there. Defense is getting a little bit better, but it's still not clicked immediately. Jerry Hughes, Ed Oliver, they drafted Gregory Rosso. They got Tremaine Edmonds. They got Micah Hyde and uh, Tredavious White in the secondary. Chargers, I don't want to say they're better than the Bills defense right now, but they're right on par with them, and I think a Brandon Staley head coach can really give them the edge over a Buffalo Bills defense. Looking at the 49ers, that is probably going to be the biggest competitor, depending how they all bounce back from injuries. How is Jimmy G going to be? If Jimmy G gets hurt, how will Trey Lance be? Can Justin Herbert, you know, outplay a rookie Trey Lance to bring this roster to top five? Can that Niners team, it probably might be already a top five roster, but still just pending so many injuries. We don't know how many of these guys will back back, bounce back 100%. You know, George Kittle, Raheem Mostert, Jimmy Garoppolo, Nick Bosa, all those guys were hurt. Will every single one of them bounce back like the same exact player? I'm not sure. I think they will. Just looking at their defense, they used to have the number one defense when they went to the Super Bowl with Nick Bosa, Rick Armstead, uh, Fred Warner. It's a great defense that I'm not sure the Chargers can outmatch. But like I said, 49ers, they have to bounce back from injuries. And Chargers, they're on their way up with a brand new head coach that is defensive minded. I'm not saying one's better or than the other. Right now on paper, it's hard to decide. You know, you're comparing the Bosa brothers. I think the Chargers secondary might be a little bit better, but the 49ers overall pass rush might be a little bit better. So it's, you know, both have their pros and cons. It's tough to compare. And then on the offense, it's going to come down to the same thing. How effective is George Kittle going to be? Is he going to bounce back to be a number one, number two tight end in the NFL again? How is Debo Samuel going to be? How Brandon, how is Brandon Ayuk going to be? Now that he has a real quarterback in Jimmy G or Trey Lance, Kyle Shanahan going to prove that he can work with any quarterback in any system. A lot of good offenses and rosters out there. Packers as well. If he stays, if they keep Aaron Rodgers, they're always going to be a top roster just because of how much Aaron Rodgers elevates his team. Denver Broncos, they're a sleeper one. Drew Locke is holding them back, but if the Broncos pulled off an Aaron Rodgers trade, they're probably a top five roster. That's kind of sad to hear for the Chargers, being that the Broncos are in the division, but it is what it is. You can't deny it. If Aaron Rodgers went to Denver, you have to accept that they're a top five roster. There's no denying it. They just, Aaron Rodgers would instantly make them a Super Bowl caliber team. And then one more that I think is at least worth mentioning Indianapolis Colts. Say what you want about Carson Wentz. I understand last year he didn't even look like he deserved a starting job, and he didn't because he got benched. But looking at this Colts team that has a very good offensive line, that has Carson Wentz who might be on the bounce back now that he's back with his favorite, I don't want to say favorite coach in Frank Wright, but Frank Wright, the one here, he was the offensive coordinator for the Eagles. Carson Wentz almost won MVP. Now he's back with them, so I think Frank Wright will get the most out of Wentz. And like I said, a good offensive line, some defense decent wideouts and T.Y. Hilton and Michael Pittman Jr. on the come up. I think he'll take a step forward this year looking at that defense. DeForest Bunkner, Darius Leonard, Xavier Rhodes, and they might even re-sign Justin Houston. This Colts overall roster is extremely good. I like their pick in the NFL draft trying to help out the defense and the offense. Colts, they're a very well-rounded team and one of the top rosters in the NFL pending how the quarterback does. But again, Chargers, they are right up with any of these rosters. I think they're right on par with the Colts, right on par with the Packers, right on par with the Niners, right on par with the Bills. At minimum, I think the Chargers are a top seven, top eight roster in the NFL. They've just absolutely executed free agency in the NFL draft to the nth degree. They've gotten every position they needed. They rebuilt the O-line. They addressed the secondary. I'd still like to see them go out and possibly re-sign Melvin Ingram or re-sign Casey Hayward, a guy that's already used to the Chargers, is already familiar with the players and the staff there. Maybe bring back a veteran that could provide just some kind of talent, just one little you know cherry on top to the team that could possibly take them to the next level and solidify them being a top five roster. Again, top five is tough because you're fighting for number five. I just To me, there's no debate. The Rams, Browns, Chiefs, and Bucks, they're all top four rosters. And the Chargers aren't jumping them right now or this year. I mean, we could see it, but right now on paper, they just don't jump them. When we see the actual players play and turn out who, and we see who turns out to be a hit and turns out to be a bust in the draft, we might see these teams jump and jumble around and some fall. But right now on paper, 
Chargers, I think they're on par with a lot of these teams, but just not knowing how the rebuilt offensive line will be. That's one variable we don't know. Will it click right away, the offensive line? How good Brandon Staley will be? I love the dude. I think he brings a great energy and great presence to this Chargers team, but not seeing him coach in an actual NFL game as a head coach, that's one big variable I just can't predict. I think he'll be good, but again, I won't know for sure. Asante Simo Jr., Will he be able to overcome his physicalities? The pass rush, will Jerry Tillery, will Chris Rumpf, will Kenneth Murray step up to create pass rush and Joey Bosa's not alone? There's four big question marks on this Chargers team. And of course, I guess one more, will Justin Herbert keep progressing? If he's the same as what he was last year, he's still a great quarterback, but still you want to see your pro quarterback get even better now that he has a better offensive line. That's five big things that the Chargers really have question marks about. And these other teams have question marks too. Carson Wentz with the Colts, 49ers, everyone's coming back from injury. Will they all be okay? Packers, will Aaron Rodgers even be on that team? A lot of question marks. Chargers, on paper, I think you'd fall short of six or seven, but I'm not trying to take anything away. I think maybe even seven, eight, or nine. I'd probably go right around seven or eight. But again, that's not a knock on a team that just went from below 500 to all of a sudden of a top eight roster in the NFL. That's a pretty good jump in my opinion. I think they'll give a Chiefs, the Chiefs a run for the AFC West. I think they'll fall short this year, but I think one to two more years, we're going to see the tides change in the AFC West. And this offseason still has a lot to play out. I mean, we're still three months away from football. Chargers could go out and sign Melvin Ingram. Chargers could go out and sign Richard Sherman or whoever want. This roster is not done, and it could eventually become top five. But right now today, I think they fall short. But still, going from a below 500 team to a top 10 roster in the NFL, that is extremely impressive in my opinion. But as always, guys, I want to hear your opinion. Do you agree? Do you think this Chargers team is top five? Do you think they're top 10, top 15? Wherever you rank them, I want to hear your guys' thoughts and how well do you think this Chargers team's executed the draft. Again, guys, thanks for watching. Two in the morning.